And now, let's join guest host Rick Kessler from RV Business Magazine as he talks with Jim Hamill. Hi there, Rick Kessler from RV Business Magazine and working with Rolling On TV this week at the Elkhart Open House for all of the dealers to come by and look at next year's product, hopefully make a lot of orders. And uh, with me is Jim Hamill, President and CEO, CEO of Erwinheimer Group North America, which is a new company as of uh, February, I believe. That's correct, Rick. Yep. We, uh, we were Road Trek for 43 years, and then we merged with the Erwinheimer Group back in February and started a new company called Erwinheimer Group of North America that will focus on, Road Trek will stay the same, same engineers, same people will build that, and we'll bring in some new product um, that is highly engineered from Europe, that is new to the market, that will grow the marketplace, not just fight for market share. Yeah. A different way of RVing, so. Let's, let's dive right into those, those, uh, those models you're bringing over from, from uh, the Erwinheimer Group North America. Um, you've mentioned to me before that you've gone over there like a kid in a candy store. You got to select what you think will be the best for the North American market, and uh, behind us you have one of those products you selected. Yeah, this is a great example. This is the original product that Erwin Heimer designed, and Erwin Heimer was a, an aircraft designer, um, worked for Dornier, the, the, air, the German aircraft company, and he, uh, in the 50s, started out designing, and this is the first trailer he designed. There's tens of thousands, over 100,000 of these in the marketplace in Europe, and they're well tried and tested out. They tow behind the lightest possible cars. So let's say in North America you have a Honda Civic. You can tow this. If you have a Mini Cooper, you can tow this. If you have a Fiat 500, you can tow this. 1,500 pounds. Yeah, about four, our, our lightest fully loaded is 1,423 pounds, and our heaviest is 2,200 pounds. One of the things that I'd, I'd love to have you tell everyone about is, is uh, uh, perhaps the difference in the European fit and finish, engineered to, to fit and finish, uh, uh, versus what they might have already seen. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a different world in Europe. You know, in, in Europe, the parts are all engineered and properly tooled and they go together properly. Um, you know, you don't go into manufacturing plants with staple guns, and Road Trek was always that way, we're the same. It's a, it's a highly engineered product, went together the same. So the mesh of the two, uh, the two companies went extremely well. There are no staple guns. You don't see these things running through in an hour. All the parts fit together properly. Every trailer I've ever seen in North America has a tube of caulking on every corner <laughs> and has to be replenished every two years. If you were to go over these, you wouldn't see that. It's just not on here. Everything puts together correctly. And the cabinetry and the European finishes inside have created an enormous groundswell of interest in this product. We did a bunch of surveying of people around the Tourings as an example, and the number one thing people noticed was, my car will tow this, I don't have to buy a tow vehicle. And it's really well built and it's great fit and finish, why wouldn't I buy it? And that was, it was terrific. It really they can, was. And they can get into this for, for what kind of a roughly, uh, a rough monthly payment? 75, 100 bucks a month. Pretty simple. Um, let's, let's talk about the Touring, that's the first one, we'll talk about some others, but uh, give us a walk around a little bit and uh, uh, maybe some of the things that we're gonna see on the North American production models that's not on this one here. Um, you know, the North American production models will be very similar to the European models. We, uh, we just recently uh, acquired a 250,000 square foot plant. We're gonna build them on our line in, uh, um, in about February is when they'll start coming off. Um, it takes some work to get a plant ready. Um, you know, this product has, uh, right now has heat, it has hot water, they're all European modules, so those will change to approved North American modules, but probably by the same manufacturers, the European manufacturers like Truma and Aldi and people like that, that we already use on the road trek and the Heimer Active side. Um, we will, uh, it'll have the same refrigerator. Of course, it'll be 110 volt versus 220 volt, which it is in Europe, uh, but the pop top will stay the same. We're going to offer a fixed roof uh, on it as well, because there are people who don't want a pop top. They live in too hot of a climate to have a pop top, so they want a fixed roof. And then we have an undermount air conditioner system that Road Trek builds um, that is fantastic. So that option will be available. Uh, and other than that, we're not going to tinker with what already works. 
one of the things you were telling me too is is uh, uh, a lot of your Hershey buyers were commenting that they can get this along with the active or one of the road treks and uh, um, have the two in tandem so that they always got that bedroom for the kids well that's exactly what it is you know you have that that family where the, the couple is buy, wants to buy a motorhome and they want to buy a van but they're saying well I really can't use it for four or five effectively because of sleeping it travels fine with four or five but not when you stop and sleep so a lot of those customers were saying this this trailer is perfect because I can have a bedroom behind the van it's affordable and then I can it's lightweight doesn't take up too much I can take my kids they've got a place to sleep when we're out of the campsite and in four years when the kids move off to college I I have a van not a class C to trade in so I'm, I'm saving money and the kids can take the trailer when they move out and that's what they're all saying so it's it, that surprised us to be completely honest <laughs> that one caught us off guard that people wouldn't so we had a number of people buying the vans now on the basis that we're also going to sell them a trailer. Let's move on then to the Active then. The er, Active, excuse me. I always have the uh, U.S. version of way of pronouncing it. Uh, um, let's talk about that. Well, we like the pronunciation Active. That's yeah. the German pronunciation. <laughs> and of course, we chose the name because it's a great name for an RV and an active lifestyle. So the Active is uh, German engineered, German styled. Uh, it's a uh, you know, German quality control. We're building it at, of course, the, I guess, the mecca of, of vans in North America, Road Trek <laughs> Factory. Uh, the van plant will be the van plant. The Heimer Active will be built in there. Uh, is being built, as a matter of fact. We're getting one, about one a day off the line right now on top of the six or seven road treks that we do a day. And that line is improving and, and probably be two or three a day shortly. Um, the Active is a product that is, has, is designed for people that camp long-term storage. Um, has fantastic storage. It's also a product that you can configure to be winter capable because the fresh water tanks are inside and they're heated. Um, it has the Truma Combi unit in it, which is a terrific unit that does hot water and, uh, and heat. Uh, absolutely terrific. It seats four up at the front with four seat belts. Um, it sleeps four, sleeps three or floor, four depending on the mattress combinations you buy from us. Um, fit and finish is incredible in it. And I, you know, I'll be completely honest, we love learning that stuff. We love getting better. It's been terrific since February. Moving on then, uh, on this side of us here is the Simplicity SRT. And uh, off camping, you told me that this is a game changer. And, and I'd love for you to tell us why. Well, you know, let's say the marketplace since about 2003 changed dramatically when the Dodge Ram van was taken out of the mar marketplace because RVs were or class B's were very affordable at all price points at that time they had something for everybody but when the Dodge Ram came out of the marketplace back then the only vans available were the Ford and the Chevy and the Ford and the Chevy were eight ten thousand dollars more as a base chassis it changed the complete price point of class B's and so the marketplace changed to a group of chassis that, uh, that were more money. And so when we partnered with uh, the Erwin Heimer Group of, of Europe, they buy 36,000 Fiat Chrysler chassis or something in that neighborhood, thousands, tens of thousands of them. And we're able to, of course, offer a different price point. And so we went to the Zion SRT, one of our current products, and we said, let's, uh, let's lower the price point somewhat but not take any of the core features out of it that are offered in a, in a road trek. And let's get an entry level van at a price where everybody can get in at, you know, 300 to 350 a month, depending on how they option it. And it's a road trek and it still has the fantastic warranty on it. It has the fantastic warranty, but uh, I've been through it. And, and I, sh I should point out that, that the price point is that much lower, but you wouldn't know that by walking through it. It still has all the creature comforts that you would want. I didn't change the product dramatically. I didn't, I, you know, I, we, we uh, changed some of the higher cost things. It doesn't have granite countertops. It does have a beautiful laminate countertop, things like that. Uh, you know, we didn't paint the air conditioner cover. These are things <laughs> we didn't paint out the body side moldings. We made it a color that they didn't notice. Did things to make the product fantastic for the customer at a price point level, but not be any different in functionality. You can still do everything with that van that you can do with a higher price point van. You know, it's just where people are uh, as far as what they're what they're willing to pay, what they're capable of paying, 
And we respect that tremendously. We're exactly the same. Our people who work for, want to be able, be able to buy a van too. <laughs> it's a good entry to your, to your entire road track lineup, that's for sure. Well, it's terrific. We have everything from entry level all the way to luxury price points. And on the European styling and design side, what's really important for the marketplace to realize is that we will never have floor plans that are the same. It is not a brand change between Road Trek and Hymer. They will have separate engineering teams, separate floor plans. They will compete against each other, and it will never change. I will not have that. That's not. We're not cookie cutter people. We do what you know. Each brand earns its way. Right. Well, thanks very much, Jim. Appreciate your time today, everyone. I hope you enjoy it and. Judging by all the dealers that are surrounding us right now, you'll find these at a dealership near you very soon.